Well, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can manage different categories of news on your SharePoint site using custom metadata. Let me explain to you what I'm talking about. Uh, let's say you have a SharePoint site, or maybe it will be your home site, uh, kind of the main internet landing page, if you will. And obviously, most likely you will have the news widget on the site. And um, let's say you have different types of news. Maybe some news are kind of generic news, general news uh, you want to share. And maybe you also want to share, use the same widget for the message uh, from the president or something, all right? Um, now, if obviously you keep adding all the different uh, news articles, news posts um, uh, on the same site, they will all show up in one news widget, all right? So you can add additional widgets, of course, uh, but it's the same widget after all, and it will draw all the news posts from the same source. But let's say I want you know, my general news to appear in one section, and then I also want to have another news widget uh, that will only show me the message from the president. Uh, again, let me just demonstrate to you, first of all, uh, kind of what I'm talking about. So let me add uh, this uh, uh, other news widget over here. So let's say this one is called, um, you know, kind of general news, all right? Here we go, and then this one will be message uh, from the president, all right? And um, now they all kind of draw from the same sources, right? They all draw from the same site. And uh, even if I, uh, let's say, add a new message from the president, the same news article will appear uh, on the left as well, all right? So how do we now differentiate between the two? Well, let me show you a trick. Let me show you a trick right now, what you need to do. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to create custom metadata on the site pages library. Site pages library is essentially a library that stores all the news posts. So all the news posts you are to, uh, to the site, they end up in the site pages library because at the end of the day, every news post is just another SharePoint page. And what we're going to do afterwards is we are going to tag each and every news post with a particular category. We'll tag it either with message from the president or general news. So let's do it. Let's navigate behind the scenes to gear icon, site contents, site pages. All right, this is again the library where all the pages reside. We only have one, uh, the default one. All right, we are going to create a column called category. It's uh, going to be a drop down uh, column, choice column and let's call it a uh, category of news, all right? Perfect. And then we are going to supply the two choices we have. Obviously, in your case, uh, it could be more than that, but let's say we have general and uh, a message uh, from, the, uh, uh, from the president, all right? Here we go, perfect, great. All right, so the two uh, categories we have, Fantastic. All right, now let's go ahead and create some news. All right, so let's say we want to publish a message from the president. So it um, doesn't really matter where you add the news post. All right, so here we go. We'll, of course, go with the um, basic template. All right, so sample message one. All right, doesn't really matter. We can add some text. All right just so that we have something. Before we publish it, before we publish this, um, very important, click on page details tab over here. And on the right side, look at this. We have this additional option now where we can specify the category, right, of the news. Uh, so in this case, this is message from the president. So we just tag this news post, here we go. And now we can post it, all right? Let's go back. Well, we're actually already here. Look at this. Right now, we have not configured this yet. So obviously, that's what I said a little bit earlier. The message, you know, this news post shows up in both places, right? Because they, both of this news widget, they draw, uh, they draw uh, from the same source, from the site pages library. So let's go, let's do one extra step. We're going to filter this 
widget we we need to filter both but we'll only filter this one for now all right so we are drawing the new sources our site and then if we scroll down we are going to filter all right very important this is very critical we're going to filter by page properties page properties that we just created we are going to filter by category of news equals and in our case we only want to show message from the president so essentially what we said here is that in this particular widget just show me the news where category is equal to message from the president all right uh, and uh, that's pretty much it and now we just need to publish it all right so this one is done i mean it um, still shows us the message uh, but this one right this one will be for general news we we don't want the message from the president uh, to appear over here let's fix this one all right so edit button little pencil icon again we're choosing this site as the source all right and then we filter same thing here page properties category of news is equal to general here we go all right and then we hit publish and when i hit publish look at this all right the news uh, post is gone the message from the president uh, news post is gone from this area and you know it only shows up in the proper area let's just add uh let's just add a simple general news post so here we go let's proceed with the news post some some general news post here we go perfect and again before we publish it um we can do it afterwards but we might as well just do it now let's tag it correctly here we go that's general post here we go and let's make sure it shows up in the correct area and it did you see it showed up over here because we are filtering out the message from the president from this one and we're filtering out the general news essentially in this widget so if you have you know different categories of news you can use this technique you can obviously add additional you know drop down choices uh, and you, then you can just add the same news widget um, you know multiple times on your um, on your site on your on your sharepoint page and then just make sure to properly um, you know filter it uh, just like I, I showed you in this particular video all right uh, nice technique to use i use it all the time for my clients so hopefully you learned something new today uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.